What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to WWE Monday Night Raw for Week 25. We're on our way to Extreme Rules this Sunday. Becky Lynch will defend the WWE Women's World Championship in an Extreme Rules match against Liv Morgan. Also tonight, Drew McIntyre will find out which match stipulation Seth Rollins wants the World Heavyweight Championship match in. This Sunday, as well as Drew McIntyre battles Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. The match stipulation will be figured out tonight. And, of course, to kick things off, we're going to have the Raw Tag Team titles on the line. The Viking Raiders against the Alpha Academy. Right here, right now, on Monday Night Raw. The Vikings have arrived. Summoned from Valhalla, they are ready for battle. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. Um, hey, Michael, would you please shoot? <laughs> You know, I've had a lot of embarrassing things happen to me in my career. That may have been the most embarrassing thing ever, Saxton. You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs, but they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're really an accredited academy. They're highly trained, highly intelligent, and highly competitive. They certainly think so. Two absolute geniuses of the mat game. Yeah, tonight we're about to see their thesis. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. The Alpha Academy in action here tonight. I'm still not sure if these guys are as important and educated as they think they are. Look at what these competitors have forged themselves into. Think about the hours, maybe even days, spent in the gym to get where they are. Alpha Academy is the paragon of wrestling teams. 
It's less about ability and more about attitude, Corey. I just have a hard time taking them seriously, and so do their opponents. Each team looking to make an impact, looking to shake up the landscape of the tag team division. Well, I'll take it one step further, Saxon. These teams have a goal of dominating the division. Uh-oh, pulling the hair. Bam! Down he goes. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Boom. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Setting up for something here. Driven down face first. Ooh, kick right to the gut. Ouch, here's the pin. Comes in off the tag. That's what they call me, the hot shot. Uh-oh. And Eric with the counter. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. And he saw that coming from Eric. Getting him into the corner. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Look out! Exploder into the corner! Ouch! <laughs> Establishing complete control. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. hit on the face. Teamwork could be exactly what makes the dream work in this title match. Nicely done. An inverted scoop slam. Oh. And he cuts bait, slipping out of the ring. Shut up, Saxton. This is just a small regrouping. to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Early to back suplex. No! Belly to back penalty kick by Eric. The title is in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. 
dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Right in the bread basket. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, he retaliates. Clean tag for his partner. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Tagged into action. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Big elbow. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Like a brick wall running into you. The challenger not looking good right now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? from Chad Gable. Oh, look at this. This is going to be nasty. Exploder suplex. I think we know what's coming next. Oh, suicide dive. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. is being neutralized. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. He went right into that turnbuckle. Tagging his partner in now. Looking to end this. Champ is going to retain. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Sky high. Diving shoulder tackle. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. Right now, can you blame him? 
And he saw that coming from Eric. What a hot shot. It's all the way to the outside. To the face. Had that one telegraphed. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, an exploder suplex into the corner. He made it. Tag made. And now Otis is bleeding profusely, guys. Set up in the corner of the ring. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Oh, what a strike to the back. Whoa, stiff headbutt. With the tag is Chad Gable. Tag is made, and here we go. Soon here. Big splash in the corner. Oh boy, oh, and suplex. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Deconstructing the knee there. Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. Oof. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout and gets tossed back into the mat. Oh man, now Chad looks to be busted open. Showboating right now. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And we have new tag team champions. What a moment. Here are your winners. Ivan and Eric. The Viking Raiders. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. We have new Raw Tag Team Champions. The Viking Raiders have defeated the Alpha Academy here tonight on Monday Night Raw. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up next, Damian Priest and Gunther. Both men won a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. They both might take one step closer here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The punishment of the Judgment Day is here. Damian Priest, an intimidating figure who prides himself on being pure evil. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damien Priest! Dog or 
cares for the WWE Universe, no longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found his true family, and the Judgment Day is their name. You just have to survive against Guther's game-changing power. Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the mat sacred. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! We are looking at the man who etched his name in the history books becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Once that bell rings, it really doesn't get more dominant than Gunther. No mercy is the name of the game. And Gunther began his career in WWE proclaiming that the ring is sacred, and his accolades have proven just that. Everything Gunther does, how he competes, it's all about picking up a victory. Winning is the only outcome for the ring general. Failure is not an option. He despises mediocrity. And Guther is a true throwback, guys. He reminds me of the great old-school champions who revolutionized this sport in the last century. If by that you mean he'll beat the crap out of you and not bat an eyelash, then sure. Gunther is a double-tough and absolutely ruthless competitor in the ring. If you don't respect him, you will fear him, and either works for him. Yep, that about sums it up. But he is standing across the way from the punishment of WWE, Damian Priest. And we all know what the big man's capable of, especially when he has a chip on his shoulder. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, strong knee connects. Oh, man. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's going to hurt. got turned around there. Uh, decapitator! Ooh! That hurt. Ooh! Slows that down with a well-placed kick. of counter. It has to be tough being as rigid as Guther is. You have to wonder if Guther is going to bend or break here tonight. Cole, you wouldn't understand the higher standard that Guther holds himself to. There is a reason why he has been so internationally successful and he hasn't broken yet. When you hold yourself to his level, you're just better. Plain and simple. A club with a right forearm. Hoist it up. Can he do it here? Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Ooh, forearm connects. What an incredible display of athletics from the Colossus. Suplex went away to capitalize on the mistake. Craft a way to get out hard there. Looking for a high risk, high reward. Watch out. You gotta be kidding me! No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. 
Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. He must have had that scouting. And now gets tossed into the ring. Three. Gunther has him lined up. Countered into a jawbreaker. Shot right to the kidney. Damien Priest. Crucifix. Power bomb. Priest has him staring at the lights. He's still in this fight. What an amazing level of fight. Still left and good there. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. These men have given everything they have and more at this point. This is a critical moment now to see who can find a way to keep going. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. And Priest fends him off. Can he carry the round back spot to be in? Ooh, a nasty shot to the throat. <laughs> Snap power slam. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And Priest is brought to a disadvantage now. Gunther made it well known there that he is better. Plain and simple. Cole, maybe you should try holding yourself to a standard like the ring general. <laughs> Draped across the top turnbuckle. And this is just unmatched brutality. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And he tosses it back in now. He's returning fire. Priest doing what he can to stop the beatdown. He could be turning his fortunes around. Able to counter that with a well-placed knee. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Gunther stringing together some impressive offense right now. And inch by inch, Gunther's chipping away at the competition. And he's able to fight. Gunther with his opponent all the way up. A power bomb. Damien doesn't know where he is. Kicks out. Just kicked out. I don't know what type of dark forces Damien Priest called on there. But it worked. It is just unbelievable. And Guther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Running knee. This whole building is shaking. Matches like this are what it's all about. Well, that changed. Quick strike to the lower body. A big punch. Ouch. In another precision strikes. Just punched him right in the middle. Oh, oh, straight in the face. My God. Oof, a shot like that would counter any attack. Now, laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Launching. Catches nothing but air. Big you can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. The ring general. Powerbomb. Gunther can taste victory now. And Gunther able to get the win. Here is your winner. Gunther. And it's Gunther who stands victorious. I wouldn't expect anything less from the ring general once again asserting his superiority.
What a matchup between Gunther and Damian Priest. Damian Priest busted open, and Gunther took full advantage of it. The Ring General with the win over Damian Priest here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Becky Lynch will defend the WWE Women's World Championship this Sunday at Extreme Rules against Liv Morgan. In an Extreme Rules matchup, but tonight it is Becky Lynch versus Sonya Deville. Up next. The man is here. Becky Lynch never backs down from a fight and as a result has earned everyone's respect. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. The WWE Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. It's time to square up. Sonya Deville is all business, all attitude. And from Shamong, New Jersey, Sonya Deville! Throughout her career, Sonya has shown her adaptability as a tag team competitor, a single star, and even a backstage official. You absolutely cannot trust Sonya, but you can depend on the fact that she will do anything to reach the top of WWE. Well, one thing is you have to answer Becky's amazing in-ring IQ and willingness to do anything to win. Well, if she can find the right strategy, it'll change her career. That's the bell, and the man, Becky Lynch, is in action. Listen to this place. Yeah, Becky Lynch has a connection to the WWE Universe that simply can't be replicated. And in turn, for their support, Becky refuses to stay down, refuses to back down. You truly can't keep the man down. Becky always rearing for a fight, always ready to show just what makes her big time. Facing off against Sonya Deville. What I really like about Sonya is that she's never once changed her tune. Friend, foe, whoever, she'll walk over anyone if it gets her where she wants to go. Can't say that I personally condone it, but no denying that as both a competitor and a matchmaker, she's left a mark a few superstars can equal. A uh, nice hip toss right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. You can't ignore what Lynch has accomplished during her time. Look out! Suicide dive! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living Whoa. dangerously. Ooh, man! Becky Lynch hits the ropes, connects with a leg drop, and more to come. <laughs> Throws her back in from ringside. Response. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Two. Big kick out. She is still fighting. Still keeping this going. Arm breaker. Oh. oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex. <laughs> Boom. Did you hear the impact? Lynch is keeping the pressure on. DeVille needs to be resourceful in this situation. DeVille clearly feeling mighty proud of herself right about now. She gets Becky with a counter. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. 
The tried and true method to taking anyone down. Ooh! Oh, across the top rope. She's starting to tire a little. Becky keenly sensing up. Oh, my God. Whoa! What a landing! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. This is truly disheartening to watch. These are such talented superstars, unfortunately, resorting to every possible tactic they can think of to destroy each other. When all is said and done, I'm not sure how anyone will truly be able to stand tall coming out of this. Toss back into the ring. Well-placed kick. This is quickly turning into a slugfest. Slugging away with everything they've got. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. What is this superstar going to do now? Oh. Take a nap, Byron. In the triangle. Oh, my goodness. Look at this power. Clutch into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing man. <laughs> Denied with an elbow. Inverted face lock. was almost gone in the back of an eye. From the top. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. The high risk just resulted in a big splat. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Drops the leg. Picking up speed. Drops the elbow. And Becky gets caught by an effective attack there. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. And a clothesline. Sonya has her sights on the target. Impressive reversal there. Becky Lynch with a shot to the back, setting her up. Handle slam. Will that sew this up for Becky? Hey, victory can't taste much sweeter than that. Celebration has just been cut short. The thing about being champion is there's always a target on your back. Again! Oh, man! Just tattooing the champion. I guess statement made. Despicable. Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, Sunday at Extreme Rules in an Extreme Rules match for the WWE Women's World Championship. Alright guys, up next here on Monday Night Raw, Sensei Nakamura versus Finn Balor, one on one here tonight on Monday Night Raw. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Shit is it expressive as he is dangerous. 
Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style. He's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. Finn Balor is here. And it's time for the WWE Universe to face their judgment. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! The Balor Club has been disbanded. The only support this man needs is from his family in the Judgment Day. I hate to agree with you on this, Corey, but you're right. Balor has never been more dangerous, more competitive, more successful than he's been with the Judgment Day. He added the undisputed tag titles to his resume as part of the Judgment Day, and Balor's leadership has brought championship glory to every member of the group. And the Prince has also taken his rightful spot back in the main event picture where he so rightfully belongs. Like him or not, Balor is still an extraordinary man, and we're about to see some extraordinary things. Since the moment he arrived in WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura has doggedly been pursuing success and glory for himself. Nothing wrong. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Oh, flipping the script out in there. Yikes. Overhead kick finds the mark. How's that for a counter? Placed into the corner. Corner and a couple back elbows to follow. Shoulders down. And the referee stops the count before two. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. What now? Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy kick. You know, if Balor knows what's good for him, he'll move away from that high-risk style night and play a little smart. High-risk style can also reap high reward, though, Corey. That's what Balor's banking on here. And you've got to admit, it's worked well for him thus far in his career. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, what a kick! Scouting Whoa. pays off against Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, and then the chest as well. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Uh-oh. Look out. Oh. Simple but effective. Uh-oh. 
elbow thrown, saying not today. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Purposeful aggression in every inch of that maneuver from Balor. Finn Balor. Maybe that will set him up. Oh, my God. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Piercing the throat. Stomping down. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Trouble shifting the tides. And I don't see Shinsuke slowing down anytime soon. Shinsuke Nakamura playing to the crowd now. Oh, rocking the jaw. And Finn will. Wow, we're going for broke. 19 16. Nakamura could be conquered. The cover. And they're still in this. Pure instinct from Nakamura to get the shoulder up. If Shinsuke gets to his feet, you'll see even more of that instinct. This means Finn has to adjust. Finn needs to reconstruct his game plan. Perched up top. Rough landing for the win. Kick it out before the count. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. And Nakamura being impeded on there. Even more precise offense from Finn there. And he sends him into the corner. for Nakamura in this match. And he gets sent back into the ring. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Playing possum. Whoa. Playing possum. Wards off the pin at two. He just won't give up. Sling blade by Finn Balor. The ball. Now they're looking for lift up. and the glory tonight. Shin may be down, but no way he is out. This is a man who never forgets when someone has wronged him.
Finn Balor, Sensei Nakamura put on an incredible matchup here tonight on Monday Night Raw. But Finn Balor, your winner here tonight. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes, Drew McIntyre tonight. We know Drew McIntyre this Sunday will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against Seth Rollins, who returned last week. But what match stipulation will Seth Rollins pick? We will find out here tonight in our main event. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. The fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. was a failure. Yeah, but Drew McIntyre left WWE. He proved himself and then returned to become a champion and a main event level talent here in WWE. The look of confidence on the face of Drew McIntyre says it all. He's about to do what he loves to do most and that's get in a fight. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. Drew McIntyre was once the hand-picked chosen one of WWE. But in the end, all of his success has been the result of good old-fashioned hard work. Yeah, credit to McIntyre. And cover! And he easily stops the ref's count. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Now watch this strength. Impressive. Sharp knee. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Clearly waiting for that. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. He foiled that attempt. 
To a monkey flip. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. And Drew there just got a taste of pushback to his warrior-like mentality. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. Ooh when you're in the ring with a powerhouse like Drew McIntyre, what's the most important thing to keep in mind? It's crucial that you show McIntyre no mercy. This is a guy who can take a real beating and keep on swinging. So, hold nothing back. If you give McIntyre even a sliver of an opening, he'll exploit it. The American Nightmare with a... Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Just look into the eyes of these superstars. They're clearly out for blood. This could be it. Cover. Getting the shoulder up before two. Close call, but not enough yet. He has an answer for Rhodes. Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. Arrow crash neck breaker. And shoulders are down. Two count pushes through after two. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Ruthless. Just going all out with every blow. Jarring impact. And McIntyre getting clobbered there. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Rolling into a monkey flip. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. McIntyre staggering, can barely find his feet. He flips it right back. Boom. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. McIntyre getting set up. Time for the countdown. A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American Nightmare. Two count. He kicks out somehow. The American Nightmare able to persevere here. Absolutely incredible. And where McIntyre goes from here is unknown. Drew's accustomed to putting out so many men with that maneuver. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? your opponent I don't like the look in his eye here folks soaring jumping leaping attack he's getting pushed out into the defensive Drew making clear he came for a fight and he's not satisfied yet and the WWE Universe is making their appreciation for these gladiators known inverted atomic drop Ooh. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Rose looking to end this. Ready to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Drew with cause for concern. What a kick out at two. The Scottish Warrior refusing to lay down his sword just yet. But you have to think that took a lot out of him. Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being. But you know he won't settle for long. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. KB in the abdomen. It is very clear that Drew McIntyre is feeling the physicality of this contest. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Good That's a chop that'll wake you up. Just turn that around. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Arm drag provides an escape. Rhodes to the top. From the top. Elbow drop. Looking for the victory. Two. Digging deep for a kick out. I am 
shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Springboard misses the target. The W. Cody looking for the win. With crossroads. The amount of blood is getting bad, guys. McIntyre needs to think about his career. He's on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pen. McIntyre counters with power. Solid punch. Cody is picking the opposition apart. This is what it takes to overcome Drew McIntyre. You can't afford to show him any mercy. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Wow, Billy oh. Stelly. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Oh, targeting the shoulder with the claw. Escape and a takedown. Going for a power slam, steps down from behind into an inverted DDT. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Uh-oh. And he denies Cody. Great wherewithal on the counter. He connected right on the jaw. Turning the tables there. Oh, McIntyre just launched his opponent overhead, belly to belly. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, you Saxton with a human shield. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Packed crowd on their toes. This is what it is all about. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. No way. Pedigree. That is why I say Cody Rhodes has achieved his final form. The guy in the plastic mask could have never done that. And I like Cody Rhodes hooks him up. Crossroads. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. Cover. There's two. There is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. One on one, here we go. It looks like the plan of this superstar to attack him might blow up in his face. Oh, and a low blow gives him the advantage. Using Into the, the cage as a weapon. It's a jarring impact. Cody Rhodes gets the win over Drew McIntyre, but Drew McIntyre taken down by Seth Rollins. Steel cage match for the World Heavyweight Championship this Sunday at Extreme Rules. Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Also, Becky Lynch in the morning for the WWE Women's World Championship in an Extreme Rules match. What a Monday Night Rollins has been. I'll see you guys tomorrow for NXT. Later, guys.